Hey guys, so this is just a quick video about color work and how I personally like to catch floats. Uh, by no means is this the best way or the only way. It's just something to help you guys if you're new to it. Uh, in one of my patterns, Bryce's boyfriend sock, doing a little bit of color work, you're going to have to catch some floats. That way your toes don't get stuck in these little loops in the back when you're putting your socks on. So here's just like a little quick, quick bit of knitting that I have knit on. So let's pretend this is your sock and this is color A. So I'm just getting my stitches and I get to my chart and it's like, okay, it's time for our second color. What I like to do personally, and it really depends on um, how you like to knit, like are you continental English throwing, that you need to work out as far as like how do you like to hold your yarn. I like to have a color in each hand, so I'll do like color B over here, color A over there, um, whatever feels good for you. I know that um, with color dominance, um, depending on how, like, what color you want to stand out the most, I believe your dominant color is the one in your left. If I'm wrong, I'm very sorry. Um, try it out though. Try try both and see how you like your knitting to look. Um, usually with color work, you do want your your contrasting or your other you know color running through to pop out. You don't want it to be Find your work. So I'm just gonna make up some color work. So I'm gonna say uh, I knit three stitches and now I need to um, work this color. So what I'm gonna do is knit with color A and then to um, you know catch this color so as I'm working this one this loop behind me doesn't get too long I'm gonna start catching it so usually somewhere about three stitches or so I'm usually like okay it's time to to maybe catch I'll put my needle through my stitch I bring this yarn in my left over and then I knit my stitch as normal then I pull it back over the top and see how it's kind of cool under here that's my catch and then when I bring that um, color B to the back when I go to knit my next one it actually kind of secures that down with a with a double let me turn it that way see how there's that little loop right there well not loop I guess like that little flat section holding that down that is your float that's been catched this is Bryce's boyfriend sock and I did everything just like how I did on that little sample. Let me turn it inside out. Cool. So this is what my floats look like on the inside. So they're not super tight. They're just laying, laying nice and flush. So yeah, that's about it. That's how I catch floats. I hope this has helped you. Like I said, it's not the only way or the best way. It's just what I find easiest. So hopefully that answers some questions. Um, the only other thing I can think of when you are catching floats, um, when you're going in the round, see like, see this little guy here that's peeking through? I probably accidentally caught my float in the same place that I did the round before. And sometimes what will happen is um, that yarn underneath will shine through your knitting. Like this one, I didn't do that, so it looks nice and smooth. But see here, I must have done it, and it's trying to peek through. So just be careful of that. But it's not a big deal. Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, happy knitting! Mm -hmm.